We were coming back from my grandfather's funeral in Chicago when we were stopped by a Maryland State Trooper. He said my cousin was, um, was speeding. But instead of just writing a ticket and letting us go, he said that he wanted to search our car for drugs. And we were pretty astounded by that. Robert Wilkins was a public defender in Maryland. And I told him that we have a right to be free of unreasonable searches and seizures, and we just want to exercise that right. And you know, his, his reaction was, well, if you've got nothing to hide, what's the problem? And we were made to get out of the car and stand alongside the highway. And I remember distinctly this car that drove by very slowly, the husband and the wife and two kids in the back. They had their faces smushed against the window looking at us, these two kids. They're probably thinking to themselves, these are bad people. So we brought suit against the Maryland State Police. And we learned they actually had a documented policy of targeting African-American drivers for drug searches. If they searched 100 white drivers and 100 black drivers, they found drugs the same amount of time. But yet and still, they were searching black drivers four times as much. Wilkins exposed a longtime form of racial profiling, driving while black. 